Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my videos. Have some updates on my uh, what's become Drift Fleet uh, 110 scale. Uh, so another shout out to uh, Jordan who uh, sparked a lot of the drift conversations and uh, got me interested. I had always watched a lot of the RC competitions and they're really cool, man, what these guys can do with drift cars. So I uh, never got into it until uh, the talks and man, you know, starting of, to build my drift fleet and here it is right now. So um, this I did an unboxing on and it's the Red Cat Thunder Drift RC car 110. A uh, very cool car actually and I'm having a lot of fun with it. And uh, my latest upgrade, uh, I actually swapped out the transmitter and receiver for the Dumbo RC uh, which has a gyro and you can see that in here very easy swap plug and play program you can check out my other video on how to uh, program a uh, that very same uh, transmitter and RC um, and the gyro function so it's definitely uh, turned this into uh, a very controllable machine um, I can't say I have the smoothest throttle uh, finger but you know with the gyro it definitely helps and it gets that really uh, nice realistic effect um, so I dropped the body as low as I could but you can notice that the belt spur gear um, or the giant spur gear right there actually rubs on the body um, so that's something to keep in mind. I really wanted to give it a nice slammed look, but that's as far as I could get. I did get my banana plug to te Dean's uh, adapter in there, and I'm running a 2S LiPo battery. I'm not sure if this can support a 3S, but definitely a 2S is a, a major improvement over the, uh, uh, the NIM battery that comes stock. Um, so moving on, this right here is a another pretty cool um, RC car this is a touring car um, the ZD Racing um, Thunder TC10 um, and this is the one that comes with the uh, metal chassis um, you can see here I'll pop this open so this is a really nice uh, RC because it's got a lot of metal uh, stock and uh, that actually has a lot of adjustability. Uh, metal is great because it kind of improves the, uh, the tolerances and gives less play uh, than you get with plastic. You can see here versus here, there's a little less slop than you would get uh, with the plastic components. It also has a metal bottom chassis which gives it great stability. What I really like about this chassis is the adjustability. You can see I set this camber pretty pretty uh, aggressive, which is nice because it gives you the option to do so. And uh, I was actually running this uh, with rubber tires and uh, drifting with my rubber tires. Uh, let me go ahead and pull those and give you a look. So before I decided to throw the uh, drift tires and wheels on there, I actually was drifting with the uh, the original rubber tires that came with it. Uh, I painted a stripe uh, to, to capture the wheel action, but not great at it. Still working on the uh, drift videos, but you can definitely see the inside of that tread wearing down. Uh, I have not thrown a gyro receiver. This is the stock uh, Dumbo RC X6F, but the gyro is next so that I could get a good comparison between these two. Uh, another thing I had in mind was um, turning this into a rear wheel drive uh, like I did the short course truck version of this, um, but we'll see because I do enjoy it as a touring car also. Um, but I will say um, this is a touring car chassis. Uh, the motor is mounted in the rear. Uh, so the weight distribution is different from a typical drift RC car, uh, which I have yet to, to really dabble with, but um, I'm having a lot of fun with this, and um, or at least with these two. I'll actually be building a uh, HSP 110 touring car also that I'll probably 
uh, used for drift also. So I'll have uh, the Red Cat uh, Thunder chassis, the ZD Racing chassis, and an HSP chassis to, con to compare um, in both the touring car world and the drift world. Uh, ideally, but this one's pretty cool. Uh, they sell it in a ready to run on also a rolling chassis. Rolling chassis also comes with the metal wheels, which is really awesome and a nice touch. I'm not the biggest fan of the wheels, but not a big deal because uh, it does feel quality. And um, let's see, uh, other than that, oil filled shocks. Uh, um, these are add-ons. Uh, I picked these drift wheels up for probably like ten dollars, which is really cool. It kind of has that TE 37-ish uh, look, which is one of my favorite wheels. Um, but yeah, these are these are a lot of fun for uh, um, electric uh, road cars, and um, definitely recommend. And uh, this is the beater body that I threw on this guy, uh, which is an R34 Skyline body. And uh, there you can see that heavy camber, which I think looks awesome. And then uh, let me throw the body back on this guy, which is also another very cool uh, factory body that I thought. Um, but yeah, I can't get it as slammed as I would like it to, um, but that's about it, and uh, thanks for checking out my video.